Hi everyone, my name is Juliana and welcome to my channel, so happy to see you. So today in this video I would love to share with you my 4th of July themed photo session that I've created with one and only my good friend and hair and makeup stylist Rachel Bettis. So this is actually was her initiative to create something very American themed for 4th of July and as always I said sure let's do that and this is what we did. So today in this video I'm going to share the whole process from very beginning to the very end it was a very long photo session um there was some uh, surprise which i didn't expect and i decided to incorporate it into my photo session as well and also the format for this video will be a little bit different i'm going to include since i wasn't by myself this time i was with rachel um i will include some raw footage uh that you can have kind of feel that you present in the photo shoot so you will just see what we talk about while we have a shoot and you will just see the process more um accurate i would say and you will have more the sense of the present so let's start so i'm going to do my makeup now and i will do it partially i'll do my face and my eyes and the whole shoot is pinup inspired look i will not going to put my lashes just because i'll I'll put them on right before the shoot because it will still be quite a few hours before uh, the hair will be ready and set and everything and I don't want my eyes to get tired uh, from the lashes and also I will skip my lipstick because I will apply it just before the shoot so it will remain fresh. Let's start! <laughs> yes, and we are going to start to do the hair now, and then I'm going to show you the end result. Just say that this is intended. Yes. That was so hard. Like I said, I have to hand it to them. I even bought old vintage combs mm. to try to just see if, like, like if they don't make the original. Them. Yes. Did it? Uh, kind of. Mm. <laughs> On some things, like the ones that pin backwards. Mm -hmm. From the salon I start to set it up everything and uh, firstly Rachel got the American flag and I chose to make as it is a background okay so for the light I wanted it just crisp bright 4th of July celebration theme type of light so I wanted everything super bright 
and equally lit so for the light i've chose one source of light uh, and i've used my softbox as a modifier 40 inch softbox and i place it quite further away make sure that all the exposition all the composition exposed properly and um, that really worked out very well for me so after i set everything up i take my ipad and i've mentioned in my previous videos since my camera my 5d mark IV, doesn't have a flip screen which is so inconvenient i don't understand why wouldn't they do flip screen but anyways i have to connect my camera via wi-fi with my ipad and i use canon application to see what i'm taking so i can actually see it's kind of like a tethering but it's not because it's actually not saving anywhere on my ipad it's still saving on the memory a card in my camera i just can see the images that my camera taking in the real time uh, which is very helpful obviously when you take self-portraits so my main goal is always to set up everything before i've done with my styling because it's very uncomfortable to set up light and whatever fix it or adjust the angles when you wear in heels or have some accessories on your head or whatever it is it just never worked for me so and for this <laughs> this shoot was as well even after i put my high heels i still had to climb up a background so it would fit the frame very nicely in any way finally i've been done with everything i was liking the pictures that i start taking so then I just start to play with different poses and as I said for uh, the theme for this photo shoot was kind of pinup inspired so there is the inspiration for hair and the makeup and the overall look and I was just play with different poses just to see whichever works the best turn out that I place my flag in a different way so in case if you don't know if you place American flag vertically these stars if it's behind you they have to be on your right not on your left so i did shot some of them uh, so i misplaced it was on my left and then later on rachel came and she's like it just looks odd i wonder i want i think that it has to be switched and which happened and it was switched but i didn't sacrifice any images because and i did chose one image from the shoot that they still had the flag on my left i just flip it horizontally and now I had my stars on my right. So I've chosen two images and image number one is to me it's all about the spin-up pose. I felt it's kind of that what pin-up feels to me, kind of uh, cute but also sexy. And of course the second image it's kind of the star of the show. Rachel really loved the images that I took with the sunglasses and uh, in post I added nice fireworks in the reflection of the sunglasses because obviously in real life they have a light reflected in them and I didn't, and I didn't like that uh, so I've just instead of just make them fix it and just make them black I thought what a great idea to actually put the fireworks about, um, in them to reflection it seems like I look at the fireworks so how much more 4th of July can it be then? It has everything, everything that 4th of July is about. Okay so I've mentioned before that I had a kind of surprise that you expected. I didn't know that uh, at the time at the day of the shoot I'll have the Lamborghini at the house and um, it's not mine but uh, it belongs to the friend of mine and it was quite a surprise and I thought oh my god so since I have all the styling I just have to take a few shots in the Lamborghini the problem was I wasn't planning on it so the time it was already quite uh, late it was um, after 7 p.m. and the light already is not I mean it is golden hour but once I set up everything I was just losing light it was every minute so in the end and I wasn't prepared to shoot it because usually I always prepare I know exactly what I want to shot, shoot and I wasn't really think what type of angles I want or etc I just I have to improvise with that uh, because I just had to take a few shots with the Lamborghini Okay. 
So as I mentioned, I lose light. I was losing the light very, very fast, and natural light already wasn't enough for getting what I wanted. It. Um, I brought the source of light. I brought just one speed light and the modifi modifier. I choose umbrella, just white translucent umbrella, and that's what I use as the light. I need a light. I need your help. Got it. So you will be my lighting guy. I love it. Um, where I want the light. I want this one a little bit to the right. Got a mosquito the... on my shirt, sorry. Okay. okay. Behind the behind the camera. Say that again? Behind the camera. Yes, no no no, take the light. Oh, it's very light. No no light, light, take a light. Umbrella, what, right? umbrella, 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 umbrella. Take it, it's very light. Uh-huh. Lift it up and put it more behind the camera. Yep, 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 exactly. Exactly, you're doing fantastic. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, just like that. Okay, let me see. Let's umbrella, see. umbrella, umbrella. <laughs> oh, oh. How do you feel? Do you feel tired? Yes, but I also feel determined. Yes. I feel determination. Just like you, you know when you you know it needs to be done, and you just continue pushing it Push because. It Good, I got that conversation on camera. Oh, oh boy, I got. Look at these ones. These aren't bad. I mean, this one's not very pretty, but this one. Oh. It's kind of cute, I think. I like the lines. Yes, the lines look fun. Like the leg and stuff. You cannot see the car. Maybe I can bring some in post production. Maybe bring with your yeah. leg up like that. Try bringing that leg in more. Yeah. No, towards the yeah. So they look more proper. Okay. Yes. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Um, yeah. The other one was just to me. I felt like you had your wide legs wide. You know what I mean? No, I know. I. I, I, I search for pose. You remember that's what I texted you before. I search for pose. It's the same thing. You just need to try things. Yes. So cute. Oh. Shoot, I'm like getting in the video. That's fine. Of me scratching my you? mosquitoes. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'll cut it out. <laughs> So this is the shot I chose from the session with Lamborghini. Uh, the whole inspiration for it was kind of something like a paparazzi type of uh, shot and it's kind of playful like a old Hollywood type of thing, paparazzi catch, the game, booking, I don't know, getting out of the car. That was the idea behind the shot. And it was already late, but the thing is with Rachel originally we played two looks and I wasn't expecting Lamborghini so it took uh, it kind of set us back quite uh, quite a, a bit. I'm really grateful and appreciative of Rachel. She always sticks to the end with me. She never ever say anything negative. She always there so I really appreciate she's awesome to work with. So if you're in Houston um, and you're looking for hair and makeup that's the person to reach out to she's amazing so for the third look uh i've changed the background and the background is my uh v flat that i made myself and it, it's white on one side and hand painted red on the other side and i actually i made it last year i believe and I have the tutorial on it. It's just, uh, I will going to upload it, I promise. And if you purchase the, um, my uh, five ways uh, to shoot in natural light course on Udemy, and for this you can find link in the description box, then you will see the tutorial how to make uh, the V-flat, um, foldable V-flat, and make it any color. You can see it was the part of that course. I will going to publish it on my channel at some point, I promise. The, the light was the same. I didn't, I decided not to change the light. I've just changed the background uh, because I still wanted the same effect. Nice kind of light and crisp and bright. Uh. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Look at that. that. Okay. You just barely did for Instagram, Instagram, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty impressed because you're, I can tell you're like, okay, 
And then all of a sudden you sit down and you look like you're just chilling. That's, like you just... That's called, to, that's called being professional. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's like, oh, wow. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to list for Instagram. No. Oh, am I hurting you? That's... Snug? That's tight. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Did you, did you really... get a facelift? <laughs> <laughs> no Botox? No Botox needed. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Do you want to take the phone and show everybody? What did you attach there? Um, maybe I'll get this. Um, I didn't know if there would be a... Any indication that it's not our ponytail. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we really showing the process of attachment. Yeah. Do you want to show how it looks? Um, let me see if this is high enough. I don't think it's. I don't think you will going to see high enough anyways because this is too high. And you, so even in front, even if it will be too high, or you want it here. Yeah. Do you then you will have to. Then you will have to extension yeah. from the below. Yeah. You, you think the pony, pony should you think I should put the pony higher? Yeah, also it hurts. So it, oh it hurts. Yeah. Well, that's but so uh, I think yeah, that's the only way. I can um do you Why? want me to I I'll, I can make it myself. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to say because then you can feel your tension. Yeah. So for the second look, Rachel wanted to create this nice, cute, high ponytail, uh, very playful type of look with the uh, bright blue bandana. I thought it was really, really awesome. So for this second look styling, I took the flag that we used as a background for the first one and I just draped it around myself in kind of pretty way and that was my styling for the look number two. The last one, the body last one? I'm still looking for a pose. I'm not super happy. I want the leg. Um, I'm still okay. searching. I'm still searching yeah. for the pose. There was the, that one good was the leg, but I kind of I cannot catch it again. That's what I'm working for. That's why it's taking time. To oh, of course. Out, you know, also because I cannot adjust the angle. When you was model, you can just do this yes. and find that angle. But since you know, That's I have. Hard. Time, I'm glad that I get to share it with somebody. Um, yes. I have a new appreciation. Yeah, the, the, with someone to actually, you know, how much time it takes. So yeah. yeah. Well, especially when you like lay down on the ground, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like how did she do that? Oh, that's that's so pretty. That's cute. You want a Coca-Cola bottle now? With the straw? Yeah, for the for the real, uh, yes, for the real super American. Oh, totally. I think I think I I like. When you had you know, a lot of art, like if you turned your chest towards the camera more on that one, like, I think it was like one of the last ones you did. The thing is, the line, the legs, they always look better when you they face to the side because, well, this is weird. But <laughs> Jay, yeah. yeah, but that, that's the whole is when you shoot full body, that's yes. the whole point is to yes. find the good pose. Yes. And that's what searching is all about but that's already my job and you please you just go and you <laughs> because i want you to yes, be yes you do i'm distracting you so from the look number three even though it was very late we all were super tired i still got so many beautiful shots but in the end i chose only one because i feel, i thought that the look was so distinctive i didn't really want to select many of them you know, because they were 
quite similar so I've chose only one and this this one and actually I'm really happy with the result and uh, I'm really happy for with the whole photo session to be honest just so many wonderful beautiful shots let me know in the comment below which shot was your favorite from this photo shoot I really want to know and also if you have any questions or comments or ideas for my upcoming videos please do let me know and I'll consider it if you want to see these images and of course um, many other images that I take uh, you can visit and follow me on Instagram it's at yurinachi underscore photo please share this video if you liked it thumbs up uh, it always makes me happy when those thumbs up when you put them to my videos makes me happy and subscribe if you haven't already and I really hope to see you next time bye